Hey guys, what's going on? I'm finally back and I'm ready to make some new videos. Uh, so first off, a couple things that I want to talk about is, uh, well, first off, I just want to explain the outline of the future episodes that I want to show. Um, I'm going to stay away from streaming for now purely because I want to build up my viewer base and build up the amount of people that actually want to see me stream. Um, and it's just easier for me to just make videos uh, without having to record and cut it up into tiny pieces all the time. Uh, I could just record whenever I want and that's it. So um, so going into the, I guess, the general outline of what I want to show in my videos. Uh, first off, I want to show leveling of dragons and leveling of base. So that's just pretty much stuff like this. Uh, I just got a new dragon. So uh, I believe this is in. I put this in a while ago, so I'm not really sure. I haven't been on recently. But um, yeah, so just stuff like this, quick cuts of me leveling up and doing stuff like that getting new things um, and of course another big aspect of the game is egg token missions because that's how you get new dragons and uh, so I'll, I'll be showing those just as I gain more and more egg tokens uh, the other thing is I want to show me using those egg, tones, egg tokens so as I breed dragons with those tokens so I'll go in here and just breed dragons uh, every so often um, the other thing I want to show is wars when I get into a team and when I get my team going because I want to start my own team and I want you guys to be a part of it. I'm going to show off all of the wars that we have, just cataloging everything. Um, and secondly, I want to show off events. Uh, as of right now, it's kind of hard for me to do events. You can just, you know, I don't have the resources, the dragons, the base, everything to be very successful in it. So that'll come later on, more likely. But, uh, and in between, you know, I'll just give off a bunch of tips. Um, I'll show my farming strategies for getting resources. I'll show how I attack a base during war. Um, the this, the methods I'll do so that I can solo a base with with my dragons. Um, just general tips, uh, plans for the future, and just discuss random points of interest and uh, things I, I like talking about. So that's pretty much it. All right, so we'll get into it. So first off, we got a new award. Uh, finish incubating Zin. All right, collect that 40 food. Oh man. All right. Okay, we got a couple messages. Nobody cares because uh, that doesn't really affect me because I can't get gold dragons. And yeah. <laughs> All right. So let's see. The first thing we want to get into is these egg missions. So oh, forgot to clear the fog. Right, so I clear the fog here, collect another 10 rubies. Alright, that's pretty useful. Alright, so we'll go in, clear the fog, just set this going so that it'll be done in 20 minutes. And, you know, basically the general strategy is, although you don't want to fill out your islands immediately, because um, you want to you want to build up your island, your your towers, and not expand too rapidly so you thin your defenses, you don't want to do that. But you do want to keep expanding so that when you want to build up new towers later on, uh, you don't have to wait for the forest to clear. So always just keep that going in the background. It doesn't take any of your builder slots up. Um, it's just something that you can do whenever you, you know, have the food to spend to set it to clear. So yeah, um, another thing. All right, so we'll just going back to what we wanted to do earlier. Uh, all right, we're, we're gonna take Zin out for a spin, and uh, yeah, so we'll just do the first base that comes up. Uh, this guy, Dragon Lord One One Two Two, you're going down, bro. All right, so I'm probably gonna end up cutting to the end of this just because it's, eh, it's pretty quick. It's just one island, <laughs> so yeah um there's not much strategy that goes into this always break down these towers on the outside that i just killed um, they give you boosts yeah there's not much strategy to this this is just basic stuff anyone can do this yeah all right so that's one out of two bases complete for that egg mission uh I'll speed through this real quick get another one quickly Alright, we got our 20 egg tokens. 
All right, so I'll cut back when I'm ready to show you guys some new stuff. Oh, wait. First thing I want to do is trains in. All right, we got a new thing. All right, Zin's ready to level up to level three. So there we go. All right, this is in level four. Alright, this should be Zin level 5. Yep, there we go. Train him up. Making quick progress. Halfway there. All right, Zen level six, easy. All right, we got the Archer Tower finished. So it's a, uh, oh, we gained a level. So we now have access to a Builder's Hut, an Archer Tower, and a Cannon Tower, a new one. All right, we got an award, we'll collect that. Um, and I think we can go ahead and build this builder's hut. So this is this houses our builders and allows us to increase the level of buildings that we can upgrade. So we'll go ahead and do that. Easy. All right. And just set this one up for the next one. Keep going. Well, that's interesting. This base doesn't have anything to it. It's literally nothing. Let's do it. <laughs> Throw everything we have at it. And it's good. That was quick. Alright, enough joking around. Looks like we got Zin to level 7 now. That one took a little bit longer. Uh, it's going to get a little bit slower, I guess. Just that's the way dragon leveling works. Looks like we got another egg mission. So we'll speed that one up and see. What we, okay, 3 lightning. That's pretty easy. We'll just take out Frigg. And uh, let's see who should we attack. I guess we can attack this guy. Seems fine. I'm trying to use my lightning attacks again. There we go. So I'll take out these guys. So I can see if I'm safe building. Just wait a little bit, slow thing down. And maybe I'll get my lightning attack. And I can use that. Now I'm lucky, maybe. I can wait till I'm in this and hopefully I'll have another spell available. Yeah. There we go. And there's all three in one base. I didn't have to wait for another one. So that's just a little tip. If you can make it work, do it. Now I should get that egg token reward. There we go, another token, 20 tokens to the collection. So we got 65 now, alright, not bad. So, yeah, I'll just keep, keep working on Zin. Um, uh, this building's upgraded. Got another reward, alright, just a boost. So let's go and upgrade uh, this, this guy right here, Archer Tower. 
This guy's pretty much done too. Speed this one up. When it gets to one minute, it's free. Remember that? So we'll set the next one for clearing. That'll take 40 minutes now. All right. So yeah, keep going. And there we go. Two more levels. Two more levels. Oh, and actually, if you look in the top left, it looks like we got a new portrait. So let's check that out. Alright, we got Laria. Finish the week with 10k medals. Alright, so we can check our medals. So medal contributions right in the middle this week, 10.4k. Alright, nice. I'm not going to be able to use that because I'm a guy, but uh, cool. Alright, looks like we got a new egg mission. Alright, just defeat three bases. Let's do it. Okay, looks like we got Draco to level 6 now. And we also have a building upgrade ready. So we got this Archer Tower to level 2. Alright, so let's... Um, I think we want to go ahead and... Well, let's just stick with uh, this Archer Tower right here. We'll build that one up. And then we'll continue to do this last base. See right there? That is skill. Whew. That was pretty close. <laughs> Alright, so we got those three bases down. Should be able to collect our egg tokens shortly after this. Alright. Ah, so close to leveling up, but no. But we got those egg tokens though. There, there they are. And we got a new mission. So we unlock to the middle intermediate, I guess it's called the the hard mission. So now we gotta use the spell Havoc, which happens to be my name, four times. <laughs> so I guess we can use either Hexed or just Hexed. Alright, so I had to go ahead and find a good base for Hex to do. Um, the, the thing I was looking for was the player has uh, towers on the second or the, the third island 
Um, reason being I want those is because I want to have those there so I can build up my rage so that I can use the havoc spell to take out the middle of the end of the island so all this stuff in the middle and havoc will pretty much uh, just tear up their base because it's a damage multiplier and it'll really deal a lot of damage so you'll see what happens when I show you Alright, so you start at one rage as of right now, and have it cost three rage points. So that's why I wanted to have these towers here so I can build up rage. And by the time I round this corner, I'll sh I should have enough rage to take out the end of the island. So now I'll hit that spell. One, two. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Oh, maybe not. Alright. Well, I guess my level two hex wasn't going to do it, but that's okay. I'll just use my next dragon. Um, when you're picking a base that you want to farm or gain XP on, it, you really want to look for the bases that have a weakness that's pretty evident in it. So that one, this one definitely had a weakness. Which was that they had, they spread their defenses too, too thinly. And that's what I was talking about earlier. They put their towers on the third island, but those towers weren't very strong, so it allowed me to build up rage. So that's just all part of the strategy. So we still got to use havoc uh, four more or three more times. So we're gonna just wait for hex to level up a couple times and or finish healing, and then we can use them. I'm just going to keep going ahead and using Zin to finish leveling them up. Alright, that's level 9 Zin. One more level till Expert. And then once you hit Expert, you can't train it anymore. You can still gain XP that's stored on the dragon. But your expert dragon can only transfer that XP to other dragons through the cost of rubies. So, yeah, one more level. Alright, so we'll go ahead and use Hexed a couple more times. So he can level up and use those Havoc spells so that we can get those egg tokens. Alright, you can see pretty much how, how it deals a whole lot more damage and destroys buildings a lot quicker. And that should give us Hex level 4. There we go. Oh, I'm totally just going to use Hex on this one just because it's easy. I'm just gonna let this building survive for a little bit since it can't do any damage to me. And that way I can build up my rage and use a havoc spell and add to my mission. So yeah, alright, thinks I'm not gonna make it, but uh, I know what I'm doing. And boom, done. So there's a, ha a havoc spell down, one more to go. No damage taken. I'm trying to show you a better example of what I was trying to show you before, uh, saving up my rage and then using it on the next island. So we'll see how well this works. Alright, so as I round this corner, hopefully I get enough rage to spend the spell. Yep, there we go. So we'll kill those in two, kill those in two, kill those in two. Oh, that guy survived. Uh, so yeah, it did a lot more damage and I survived all the, the middle attacking islands towers. That helped me a lot. I can take these resource buildings out pretty easily. There we go. Basic stuff. So that was a better example of the tactic I wanted to show you. 
And then at the same time we get Hex to level 5. And he's got Archer Resist now, so that makes him pretty useful. Now I just discovered that I actually need to upgrade my Dragon's Den if I want to train Zin to Expert. So it says right here, upgrade Dragon's Den to level 2. So I won't be able to upgrade Zin until I do this. So let's just do this real quick. It's a 3 second upgrade, 720 wood. Let's go ahead and, oh, shoot. Well, maybe we won't do that yet. Well, what we can do is just use a speed up timer. And we'll wait that one out. This The 5 seconds left and... Then we'll do that. All right, and there we go. Nice, level five as well. So we have storm tower, sheep farm, and lumber mill added. So yes, we definitely want to use one of those storm towers. Um, so for now, I'll just throw one, well, let me see. How long is it gonna take? 16 minutes, all right, I'll just wait until I do this first, because it's three seconds only. So I'll do this. Now my Dragon Sin is upgraded, and let's see, this one's how long, 12 hours, oh, alright, so I'll send those ones overnight, these these two I can do overnight, and um, I want to put down a Storm Tower now, because these are really useful, so Storm Towers, when you use this super shot when you're defending, it'll do an area of effect provide invincibility for the towers around it so it's really really useful all right so I'm just gonna continue training Zin um, when I get new egg missions I'll show you guys and when up buildings are upgraded and when this forest is cleared and when this building is finished upgrading I'll show you guys Alright, so it looks like we'll level up Hexed here. Yep, there we go, level 6. So, we'll continue. Gotta love giving an old base a good old friggin'. But, uh,. Yeah. Alright guys, that's a wrap for episode 2. In the next episode I'll continue to level up my dragons and my base, and hopefully I'll be able to show off the guild system and a couple other cool things. Alright, I'll see you guys later. Peace.